Hello, my name is Dr. Anusha Yeshukumar. I am a pediatric autoimmune neurologist at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City. So as an autoimmune neurologist, uh, I take care of children um, and adolescents and young adults who have disorders in which the immune system affects either the brain, the spinal cord, the optic nerves, which are the nerves that connect the, the eyeballs um, to the brain, or nerves throughout the body as well. Um, while these are overall relatively rare diseases in children, they, they represent an important group of patients um, as many of these can um, present in up to 10 to 20% of these diseases uh, as a whole. So in other words, uh, if we look at all patients with multiple sclerosis, 10 to 20% will present uh, under the age of 18. Um, so in that sense, these are important patients um, that we take care of where in which it's very beneficial to have a pediatrician uh, with expertise and experience in these diseases. So as I mentioned, I take care of uh, children and adolescents and young adults with any of these diseases. Uh, in particular, multiple sclerosis is the most common. So uh, the majority of my patients have multiple sclerosis. Uh, I'm also, um, a, I have a lot of experience with autoimmune encephalitis, um, which is a disease in which the immune system attacks a, a slightly different area of the brain than in multiple sclerosis, which then leads to different symptoms. Um, so I would say those are the two um, that make up the, the bulk of my practice. Um, but again, we also see patients who have other diseases. So those may include things like optic neuritis, transverse myelitis, ADEM, which stands for acute disseminating encephalomyelitis, um, as well as things like myasthenia gravis and Guillain-Barre syndrome, uh, which are diseases that affect more of the nerves throughout the body rather than the brain itself. Yeah, so I'm very proud of the program that we've built here at Mount Sinai. So we have a, a very um, multidisciplinary program uh, in which our patients have the benefit of working with um, many providers with different backgrounds, all within the same clinical home. So um, the other, some of the other providers that see patients with me uh, include a behavioral neurologist. So this is somebody who um, uh, serves the role uh, of, of a psychiatrist in some senses, uh, with expertise in managing medications that can affect and uh, improve behavioral problems. This can include things like problems with mood, problems with hallucinations, problems with fatigue or poor sleep, um, really anything along that spectrum. Uh, we also have a neuropsychologist in our program, and he helps to do the cognitive or neuropsychological testing uh, for our patients, as well as thinking about strategies to improve the return to school or work for our patients. Uh, and this can be really just invaluable as patients think about making the transition from either the hospital or wherever they've, they've undergone their acute care um, into returning back into their, their previous life in school uh, or at work. Uh, we also have experts in epilepsy. So these are our seizure doctors who can help with our patients who have more complex uh, epilepsy needs and may require multiple medications for their epilepsy. Uh, and then we also work with uh, social workers uh, and, and sort of other um, therapists as well that can be really crucial for getting patients um, uh, back to, their, uh, to their, their way of life prior to this illness. Uh, and then in addition to that, within the, the Mount Sinai Health System, we have really close relationships with our other colleagues in pediatric rheumatology and pediatric endocrinology, um, and really a variety of other subspecialties um, because uh, patients with these autoimmune neurologic diseases may have other medical um, issues. Uh, and and you know, there is a benefit in my mind to, to having multiple providers within the healthcare system who work together and, and talk together. And so these are also services that we provide for our patients. Um, and then I would just say, you know, additionally on the spectrum, I've done a lot of work with some of the large patient organizations in this country. Um, and so our patients also have the benefit to the resources that come along with those patient groups. So this can be things like uh, many of the local support groups that I participate with and, and speak at their uh, meetings as well, as well as more national events, um, such as uh, fundraisers and other educational events for, for patients and their families. And so um, our patients here at Mount Sinai have access to all of these resources through those patient organizations. 
So I, I'm a strong believer in that, uh, you know, while we have a, a really great multidisciplinary program here at Mount Sinai, there is really strong value for our patients, particularly from further away, to maintain close relationships with the uh, physicians that uh, they, they would be able to see on a, on a more frequent basis, and in many cases, the physician who was with them from the start of the illness through the process of diagnosis. And recognizing the importance of this role uh, over the past several years, we've, we've become very comfortable with working with local physicians who make the referral such that they can still retain um, you know, their involvement and, and care of the patients um, in a collaborative uh, spirit with us here at Mount Sinai.